right. So good morning, Amy. I understand that your program director referred you to me because of a poor performance on the in-training exam. Can you tell me more? Uh, for as long as I've been taking tests, I seem to struggle with finding, finishing on time, getting a passing grade. I find myself wondering what the question is trying to ask, uh, and I end up rereading the questions multiple times uh, before even answering it. Okay. Well, let me see how you do with this practice question that I have for you. I want you to approach this as you would on any standardized test, except that I want you to read aloud and think aloud as you go through it. So if you normally read the entire question, read the entire question. If you normally just skim, just read what you're skimming. And if any interior thoughts or commentary that come to mind, just speak those so I can understand what's going on, okay? okay. Uh, so a uh, 73-year-old woman with a past medical history of uh, diabetes, hypertension, uh, knee osteoarthritis presents to the outpatient clinic for evaluation of feeling extremely cold and a cough. For the previous two days, she had been feeling weak with a non-productive cough. On the morning presentation, she awoke feeling very cold. Now, productive cough of white sputum and right-sided chest pain with coughing. She denied fevers, rigors, limb swelling, changes in her bowel habits or urinary symptoms. Meds include metformin, one gram twice daily, lisinopril, 20 milligrams daily, um, and acetaminophen, one gram three times a day. She does not drink alcohol or smoke. Her daughter lives with her. Physical exam is a woman wearing two coats, alert and oriented times three, and in no acute distress. Um, vitals show a heart rate of 75, blood pressure 130 over 84, respiratory rate 14, temperatures 99, oxygen saturation 98% on room air. Lung exam is significant for bronchial breath sounds in the right base. Cardiovascular examination is unremarkable. CBC shows a white count of 12.3, and a chemistry panel is normal except for a glucose of 116. Chest X-ray shows chest X-ray shows a right lower lobe infiltrate without effusion. What is the best choice for management of this patient? Well. This is tricky. Um, I have a 73-year-old woman with diabetes, hypertension, and osteoarthritis that comes to my clinic extremely cold with a cough, but she's weak. She woke up really cold. Uh, new cough with white sputum, right-sided chest pain. She's very cold. Um, uh, she's immunocompromised from diabetes, but she's having some, she's not having any limb swelling or fevers. Um, vital signs, low cocaine, uh, blood pressure is a little high, uh, bronchial breath sounds in the base, white blood cell count of 12.3, glucose of, glucose of 116, and chest x-ray shows right lower lobe infiltrate. Uh, best choice for management of this patient. Um, so, looking at the answer choices, A, C, T, angiogram of the chest, well, it could be a PE. Uh, she's having cough and chest pain. Uh, B, inpatient treatment of ceftriaxone and azithromycin. Uh, C, inpatient treatment with imipenem. D, outpatient treatment with Levo, or E, outpatient treatment with amoxicillin clavulinate. Uh, well, most of these are antibiotic choices, um, so I'm going to assume she has an infection and not a PE since there's lots of antibiotic choices. Uh, imipenem just seems like too much of a big gun for her, uh, but she's old and she's immune compromised from the diabetes, so I think I would want to admit her. So I guess I'm left with B, inpatient treatment with ceftriaxone and azithromycin. Okay, is that final answer? Final answer.